that. <clears throat> uh, while I'm waiting for my co-tester to catch up or show up, what we're doing today is we're at the tops of the watershed and we're doing conductivity tests. I'm with United Mountain Defense. My name is Chris Irwin. And what the conductivity test does is, well, it gives us dissolved oxygen, pH, and a couple of other data points. But really what we're after is the conductivity. And all conductivity is, is electricity goes through water at a predictable rate. And when you add metals, or salt for that matter, it affects that rate. It's a really simple, easy indicator of stream health. And by going along the tops of these watersheds, you may have seen some of the footage of the horrendous logging going on beneath it. Well, we do a couple of things. Uh, we're establishing a baseline. So if we test at the top and we go beneath all this logging and mining and we test again, and there's a massive change in conductivity, then that's a pretty good indicator of what's going on. Also, we're sending our samples. We're taking samples. We're using a double carbon chain of custody form and we're taking samples and we're sending them to Caliber Analytics who uses two EPA certified methods for testing. I believe we're testing for six metals including um, manganese, selenium, mercury, probably iron, and a couple of other ones. And so we're actually, and then we collect the GPS coordinates. So when you combine it all, we're getting dissolved oxygen, pH, six different metals, we also shoot, um, the cameras that we use are these, and they actually, aside from being good for 40 feet below water, are have built-in GPS units. And what the GPS units have in them is not just, it embeds in every single photograph we take where we took it, but also it gives us the magnetic orientation, the barometric pressure, the altitude, and um, the date and the rest, all that's stamped in. So when we take a photograph of the conductivity meter, we'll hold a GPS beside it. So you'll get a photograph of the GPS, you'll also get the GPS coordinates embedded in the camera, and then you're getting a photograph of the, um, and also you're getting the magnetic orientation, the altitude, the barometric pressure. But then also from the GPS screen, you're getting the pH, dissolved oxygen, the specific conductivity, and um, temperature, and a few other data points. So every photograph we're taking, we're getting a total of like eight to nine data points, bits of information. When I say data points, I mean bits of information. Then you combine that with when we're sending it to the lab, and we're getting six metals screening that's double EPA certified, uh, the test or, or EPA test. So we're getting a combination of each sample point, eight, let's see, 12, 14. We're getting about 15 data points off every single stream. And we're testing a total of, uh, I think 180 is our goal for to have done by August. And it's gonna be pretty comprehensive. Every stream that we can get access to, um, we're sampling and sending it off. And the value of this is obvious. Um, for one, we're able to, t no one's ever done this before. No one. We're the only group, state, federal, agency, anybody that I know that's ever done this before. And one of the reasons we have to use these four-wheelers um, is that we're getting to places that you cannot get to by vehicle. Trucks will not get to where we're going. You can't walk it. And bicycling would just take un incredible amounts of time. So what we're doing is we're, we're compiling a picture of the health of the watersheds at, at the top but then we're also getting it at the bottom. We're snapshotting it all. And then at the end, we're open source. All of our data will be online. So what we're providing is sample points of throughout the watersheds. And by the time we're done, we should have most of the major streams throughout the coal fields of Tennessee that are gonna have all these sample points above and beneath. And then things get really fun because our uh, president just came back, uh, James Kane, from working for the military. He's got sort of thing, and he just spent the last couple of years working for the military doing GPS tracking work. So he's really good at crunching this data. And what we'll do is we'll take the logging and the mining and these other sites, 
and we, um, when you take our photographs and you upload them to like Flickr or another account, it ought, since it's embedded, it automatically puts it on a map. So that, and since UMD is open source with our data, that means anybody can come along and test behind us. Well, not test behind us, but use our data and start compiling a full picture as to what's happening to the stream and to the, the health of this um, watershed. And this is really important for a lot of reasons. One is science is where the rubber hits the road. When we're talking to the agencies about the damage and destruction this rampant clear cutting and strip mining is doing, we're not just saying it's because we like to picnic here. We're saying because you have the wrong GPS coordinates, they've miscategorized the streams, that it's frying the pH, the conductivity above this site is X, or we tested before you started and it was Y, and now look at what's happened. This is clearly as a result. And the patterns are becoming obvious to us. As you would expect, this strip mining and clear cutting is destroying the watershed. It's completely wrecking it. Afterward, before it, it's putting tons of sediment into the streams. Uh, we've gotten, the last two weeks ago, we got a selenium reading that was toxic. It was pretty hot. We, um, I mean, it's, it's evident. But we're backing up our opinions with science. And also, I mean, of course, we over-document everything. I mean, our photographs, everything over, you know, our double carbon chain of custody. Our data is impeachable, un unimpeachable, I guess is the word. But we also tell the agencies and anybody, if you're watching this right now, you can see our GPS coordinates. We invite you to test behind us. Actually, we will take you to test behind us. In fact, if you'd like, you can come out with us and test beside us. That's called parallel monitoring, and we welcome that. And I don't know of any other agency, corporation, or even nonprofit that makes that kind of offer. And that's one of the reasons that we're so careful to photograph and document again and again and again, repetitively, exactly where we're taking our samples and what time and how and where the lab is and how we track them and who we ship them through and what the laboratory used, their sampling methods. So anyone can come at any time. And I've told the agencies as well, come test behind us. You don't trust our data? Get out here and test yourself. But they don't. And we've never had in years of doing this any of our data challenged. And one of the reasons for this is they don't want the truth to be known. These agencies don't want people to know how badly they are mismanaging state land, which is what we're on today, how badly this watershed, what's happening is this watershed would produce clean drinking water for another million years. And and the Office of Stur Surface Mining, also known as the Office of Stealing Mountains, and TDEC are allowing just utter devastation, just wrecking these watersheds. And they ignore the cumulative impacts. They ignore the massive sedimentation. They ignore the destruction that starts happening years after they've abandoned these mines. They, it's, it's hear no evil, see no evil. At the very least, though, with United Mountain Defense, with the help of our allies at the Gimbel Foundation and the Appalachia Community Fund, which makes this kind of scientific work possible, we are showing them you cannot ignore it. We are going to bring it to you. We're going to post it on YouTube. We're going to put it out to thousands of people. We are going to continue pounding home with hard science, hard facts, hard GPS coordinates, and hard heavy metal tests the fact that they are participating in ecological destruction of an incredibly invaluable diverse watershed until finally we stop it. Anyway, uh, again, my name is Chris Irwin. I'm with United Mountain Defense and um, have a good day.